It's very possible that I was wrong about Jawan Winfrey. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. So continued coverage of the first day of minicamp. We have Jawan Winfrey standing out of the pack out of all the receivers. So during the first day of the minicamp, it has been observed that Jawan Winfrey has been playing with a lot of confidence as if he is vying for that number one receiver spot. According to multiple reporters, Jawan Winfrey was the first receiver in line during all the receiver drills and he was catching everything that was thrown his way. Then on to the seven on seven drills with Jordan Love at quarterback for him. He had an amazing 31 yard touchdown catch during the two minute drill over Jair Alexander. The play by play on this one from a reporter was Jordan Love throws deep to Winfrey for a touchdown with Jair in coverage. Jordan Love lost a dead duck deep down the left sideline during the two minute drill. But Jawan Winfrey makes a nice back shoulder grab with Alexander in coverage for a 31 touchdown. 31 yard touchdown. Winfrey then spins the ball on the ground and kicks it to the other field in which chaos ensues with the rest of the offense losing their collective minds. There's no drama with that last part. He's just celebrating and the offense has gone crazy. Really wish there was a Twitter video out there of that play or hopefully maybe Packers.com releases a video of the footage or a fan because that catch sounds nuts. Especially since he's doing it over Jair Alexander. Would love to see it. Now Winfrey is probably playing with a slight chip on his shoulder. Last year he showed amazing skill in the training camp and unfortunately he was derailed by a shoulder injury that kept him on the sideline for the entire preseason and that might have hurt his chances making the initial 53 man roster. And so he was pretty much jumping from the practice squad to the active roster as injuries popped up with Devontae Adams and Alan Lazard and Randall Cobb. The most notable game he played in was during the Arizona Cardinal game when we pretty much didn't have our top three receivers. In that game, Winfrey had four receptions totaling for 30 yards and for the entire season, he only had eight catches for 58 yards on 13 targets. So he wasn't really playing much. Hackers.com did ask him what he's focused on heading into the 2022 season and that was consistency and availability. He also stated that he felt like he was ready last year and he was ready to take that next step, but unfortunately got hurt in camp. So this year, it sounds like he is just resuming what he did last year in training camp and hopefully he continues. He's definitely going to get a shot, especially with Devontae Adams not there and with the top five, top six or seven receivers that we're going to keep from the offseason, he's going to get a good shot. I am definitely curious and interested to see what Juwan Winfrey does with the rest of this week's minicamp and future OTAs and training camp and where he ends up with the Packers roster and actually seeing him in some preseason games because unfortunately he lost that opportunity last year. And if he wins the roster spot and becomes a top three receiver for us, I'll gladly take the L on that and that I was wrong saying he wouldn't even make the roster because hey. But of course I am getting a little ahead of myself. There's a lot of off season left. It's just one day of mini camp, but hey, it's a great thing to start off with. But let me know what you think down in the comments. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And as always, go pack go.